second time you've jumped down my throat tonight. What is with you? Vicky's in trouble, okay? So I'm a little on edge, all right? Yeah, well, if I found Marcy, none of this would be happening. Rex, none of this is your fault. Yeah, she's right. And you weren't the only one looking for her. The police, the FBI, Todd, and whoever he hired. She didn't want to be found. I should go. We've both guarded your room long enough. Yeah, thanks for letting us uh, hang out. Marasco? We're here with another employee of the Bonjour Cafe, Ms. Gigi Marasco. Ms. Morasco, can you briefly explain your relationship to the uh, fugitive, Marcy McBain, and to the hostage, Victoria Davidson? I have worked with Vicky for almost half a year now, and Marcy I met when she moved here a couple months ago. I've become friends with both of them. Did you have any idea I at the time? I also know Todd Manning. The father of the boy that Mrs. McBain That's kidnapped? the one. In what capacity did you come to know Mr. Manning? I've had a few dealings with him, and they haven't been very pleasant. I pretty much learned that Mr. Manning is a terrible, dangerous person who will do anything, hurt anybody, including single mothers like myself, in order to get what he wants. Can you back up these allegations with concrete facts? Bet your bottom dollar. You were saying you could substantiate this. Please continue, Ms. Morasco. Come on, how long does it take them to go across the street and get a bottle of pills, right? Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had to do this, but I... I couldn't let you go, okay? You know that I I wanted to let you go, but you you give them an inch, and the next thing you know, they'll be breaking down the door and ripping Tommy away from me. Yeah. This isn't who I am. You I, know that. I, I know I know that. I know. I didn't have a choice. Is it worth losing yourself for, Marcy? It is. If I can save my son, it is. Oh, God, please. 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 Oh. The last I heard, Marcy McBain was still barricaded inside the diner, holding your brother hostage. And Aunt Vicky, too? Yes, Aunt Vicky, too. Now, don't ask me what Vicky is doing there or why she chose to retrofit her life waiting tables in a diner in Paris, Texas. So my mom knew all of this before she left? Yes. She left you a note all about it. Why don't you just come upstairs and tell us? Yeah. Because <laughs> girls, we assumed the two of you would be asleep at that hour. And quite frankly, Star, we felt that you would demand to be allowed to go with her. Well, of course I would. And what's wrong with that? Sam is my brother. And you know what? For, for once in my life, I, I would like to be recognized as a part of this family, you know, help make some decisions. I can help. I'm a very supportive person. Yes. Your parents know that. I know that. You've proven it time and time again. It's just that this situation down in, 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 in Texas is potentially very dangerous, and it should be left to the grown-ups. However, right here at home, we also have a very sensitive, delicate situation that needs to be handled. Your brother Jack. He's going to wake up in the morning. He's going to hear all about what happened. And he's going to have some questions. Now, who better to answer those questions than his big sister, Star? OK, I guess you're right. Thank you, dear. You're awfully quiet, Langston. Is there anything the matter? 
It's just so sad. So many people love Mr. Manning's son, but with all the fighting, everybody's missing the point. The more people to love a kid, the better. I'll put on more coffee. Excuse me. You know, it's all the same stuff. Every station. There's got to be something else we can do. Nash, yes, there's nothing we can do except wait it out. Well, you know what? I can't sit here and listen to them speculate about Mom. I'm, I'm going to try Todd again. If anyone can give us a reality check. Do you want to go check on her? No, I'll give her a few minutes to herself. I guess I shouldn't have pushed the DID thing, huh? Oh, honey, somebody had to bring it up. I just figured I'm not the only one with Nikki Smith issues. You know what? Your sister will be fine. She bounces back fast. Let me see where Jared went. What exactly did Todd Manning do to you? Um, he came into the diner. He trashed the service, trashed the pies, dipped my tip. A guy like that deserves what he gets. So that's the famous Morasco, huh? That's Gigi. Who the hell is Gigi? It's Rex's high school girlfriend. I've got your damn nerve showing up here after what you did. <laughs> you get a kick out of your 15 minutes over there? Give a good sound bite? It's going to be a sound feast when I report you to that FBI agent over there. Oh, wow. Make sure you tell him how you aided and abetted your fugitive friend, uh, Sally Ann. Actually, I was just about to tell the world how you kidnapped my son. Nobody never warned you about telling tales? You were a good single mom with a good little boy. That little boy over there, he needs you. Now, be sure to remember that before you go shooting off that mouth of you. What the hell's he doing? He's just standing there. Is he going in or what? Move it at this long. Jump the gun now so we can get hurt. Or worse. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing here? You know you should be in the hospital. I'm fine. No, you were shot. You should be in the hospital. You know that. I'm here now. There's no way in the world I'm letting you go through this alone. Mikey, please just, just give me those pills, okay? That's all I need are the pills. Marcy, you have to let me in. No. No, please, just give me the pills and just go. Marcy, the pills alone may not be enough to help Vicky. I need to examine her and make sure that she's okay. No. No, you're lying to me, no. Michael. You are lying to I me. I need no. Never. I will never lie to you again. Marcy, I love you, and there are so many people who love you too. Vicky is one of those people. If she doesn't get the proper treatment, she could die. That would make you a murderer. I know you can't live with that. And I need you to live. Marcy, I love you so much. I can't go another minute without seeing you. Please let me in. Okay, you can come in. 